Hey everybody, it's Josh here, back with another tutorial, and in this one I'm gonna show you how to create a call to action button for your Divi menu. Sorry, it's been a little while since my last tutorial. I spent so much time putting my site together and doing the first round of tutorials that I really had to focus on my web design business, which is what's currently paying the bills. But as I sell some more Divi products, hopefully, and get some more donations and continue to to build my tutorial series, hopefully I can have more resources and time to be able to dish out more of the expertise I have with Divi and WordPress for you guys. So with that said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this same button that I have on my test site here where when you scroll over it, it hovers over a nice color and to top it off, yep, you guessed it, it's gonna look really good on mobile as well. Now, before we dive in, there's quite a few different ways to go about this. There's really not a right or a wrong way, but I'm gonna show you the way I do it. It's actually very similar to my buddy Gino who has a similar tutorial, which I'll make sure to link to. And there's a few different ways to do about this, but I do it with CSS and just make some minor tweaks that I think are the best practices for the way to do this. And I'm excited to share it with you. So with that said, let's dive on in guys. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna go into our menu section here and we wanna give whatever link or whatever item we want to be a button, we wanna give it a class and with that class, that's where we're gonna add the CSS and we're gonna have some fun. So under screen options, I've made sure that I selected CSS classes and once that's selected, you'll see this little classes section pop up here and we're gonna give this a class of menu, oh, there we go, menu slash or menu dash CTA, call to action. So we're gonna go ahead and save this and now when we go back out to our site, now since we haven't created that class or styled it, nothing's gonna appear there, but let me show you what we're gonna do here. We're gonna bounce over to my style sheet, and if you're not sure how I did that, please refer back to a previous tutorial I did on where to put your custom CSS, and you'll see exactly how I link right to my style sheet. But we're gonna go ahead and create this class, which was menu CTA. Whoop, if I could type here today, CTA. Okay, so we've got this ready. Now I wanna give this something just to, to show the class, that way we can kind of play around. And I'm gonna give this a border of two pixels, solid, and let's just do white for now so we see this nice and clear. So once this is saved, we'll go back out to my site. Let's go ahead and refresh, purge the cache, and there we go, we can see what I just put in there. Now you'll notice first things first that there's a couple things we need to do. We definitely need to add some padding to give the actual text some space. And we need to actually assign the height because with Divi, you'll see, I'm gonna right click and inspect element like I do in all my tutorials. When I do that, you'll see that each menu item has quite a bit of padding below it. So what we need to do is we're gonna go in here where I can find the menu CTA. And there we go, it's right there. What I wanna do is I wanna first give this a height and let's try, I think I was messing around with 42. And so that looks a little bit better, but again, it's still down, you know, it's still hanging below the actual item. Well, here's the big thing we want to do is we want to add some padding. So I'm going to give this 12 pixels. And there we go, that looks much better. Now you'll notice that there's no space on the right. It's like it didn't take. There's an element in here where menu items, the last menu item, doesn't have any padding to make sure it lines up. So what I want to do is give this an important tag and that should overwrite that. So that looks much better. A couple more things I wanna to do to give that style that I showed initially is I wanna do a border radius, which is going to give some curve to the edges of the border. And let's try 25 pixels, that should look pretty good. There we go, that looks good. I also wanna make sure that the text is centered. And this is gonna come into play for mobile as well without us having to write more code. And then the last thing I wanna do here is instead of kind of that harsh white, I mean, that actually looks pretty good, but I wanna bring this down a little bit just to kind of show like I had originally that, you know, there's just to show that it's a call to action, but it's not super bright. So that looks good. We're gonna go ahead and copy all this, bounce over to our style sheet and replace that there. Oh, actually we're gonna replace the entire thing. There we go. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, but now you'll notice, once we did that, because we added the padding, there is some space, there's like more space up top over the menu. So if I look in here and I just kind of hover over the elements, right here, you'll see right when I hit this section, there's some padding there. Let me show you what we're gonna do here. It's a very easy thing. Now you can adjust your padding of the menu in your theme options, but I like doing it this way just because I have a little more control. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to where we find this padding. Okay, right here, we can see it says header style left, which is where I have the logo, the top navigation. It has right now a padding of 33 on top. Check this out, I'm just gonna reduce this and that's gonna make that a little more flush and it's, it's a little nicer. So let's go ahead and do, yeah, 16 looks good right there. I'm gonna copy this whole thing. Now you'll notice that I don't need this since I, I'm not using a split header style. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my style sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in there and I'm gonna delete this little extra line of code because I don't need it. It's best practice to eliminate whatever you don't need. Now, one last thing I wanna show you on here as well that is that I'm using a fixed menu. So when you scroll down, the menu's gonna stay there, but the fixed menu has its own padding on, on the style here. So you'll see right here, if I, there we go, if I look at this, I can see that this overwrote what I just put in there and it has the header style left fixed header at a padding of 20. So what I wanna do is make this go down even further. Let's do, yeah, like, probably like eight, there we go, it looks pretty good. We'll take this for now. And same deal, I don't need this second line here, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and paste this in my style sheet and we're gonna get rid of the extra code that it doesn't need. Okay, so this is saying, hey, that's the padding of the menu on top when you're not scrolling down and here's the padding on top for when you do scroll down when the header is fixed. So, and again, you can go into your theme options and adjust this a little bit, but this is kind of good to know just in case you should ever need to tweak. I know a lot of times I'll put a logo in there or something in the menu and it just seems to look a little bit off and that's exactly why. So, now that that is cached, let's go ahead and look. Yep, that looks good. And we scroll down and there we go. That looks pretty good too. Now we could of course adjust this a little more, but we'll do that moving forward. Now, next thing that we wanna do is we wanna add a hover over state. So when you scroll over the button, it actually turns into another color. Now I'm gonna use a green that I have saved, but that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and go right back under here and, and we're gonna add a hover over state to this. So I'm gonna copy all my code. We're gonna paste it under here. We're gonna do a hover over state. Now I don't need to keep any of this. So what I wanna do is give this a background color and let me pull the, the color that I have. Actually, I have it saved up here. So I'm gonna do my color palette and we're using this green right here. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Cool, let's go ahead and do that. Now, when I come back out to the site and I refresh, when I scroll over that button, it should hover over green. Boom, there we go. Pretty awesome, right? It's all, oh, you know, it's funny. Somebody just commented on how many times I say boom uh, I can't help myself. I'll try to stop, but if you guys want to tally up how many times I say it, that might be kind of fun. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now, the big question is, and really I meant to say that that's really all you need to do. Now, I'm going to give you some more code because where this can get tricky is if you have, like right now my current link is green. If you have a current link that's green and then you're on this page, check this out. Like I'm going to go here and look, it's green. Well, that's all right, but when I hover over it, it's gonna go green as well. Um, actually, let me pull up some code. Okay, so I've got some code saved that I'm gonna drop in here that you can use. And basically what this is saying is that no matter what page you're on, when you hover over the menu call to action, A, the link, it's gonna hover over white. So you can see right here, I haven't saved this yet, so you can see you know, we're scrolling over it and it's both green. But now that I just put that code in there, when we hover over this, the text should actually turn white. There we go, easy peasy. All right guys, so now we've done that. Now the big question is, okay, well, what do we do about mobile? So as of right now, if I scroll in here, I can see that it's looking a little, little weird. So what we're gonna do is, first things first, is the height. The height worked out really good on desktop, but it kind of throws it off here on mobile. So what I wanna do is actually add a media query and I wanna tell this just to have a height of 42 only when you're on desktop. So I'm gonna add this media query, which is saying once the browser hits 981, which is right above tablet view, we want this height. So we're actually gonna move this height away from that and we're gonna put it in here. Oops, actually, I'm sorry, we need to copy. We need to copy the whole call to action and now we need to put that height in here. So this is saying that the height is just gonna apply to this call to action button 
once we're in desktop. So check this out. Let me go back to my site. Let's go ahead and refresh. So obviously this looks good. Everything's looking good. Now, once we get to mobile, we're gonna click this and there we go. It already looks better because I made that height only come into play once the screen is at 980. Now, there's some other settings that we can do here. This doesn't look terrible, but I'm gonna go ahead and right click and inspect element. Let me go ahead and make my browser a little bigger for you. Now I'm gonna go in here to the mobile and responsive views and yeah, this looks pretty good. This is an iPhone view. So again, this doesn't look too bad, but what we wanna do is I actually, I'm gonna make this, well, I'm gonna give it less padding for one, but I'm also gonna make the background color that green. So with the padding, I'm just gonna drop this down to zero. So that looks much, much better because it's interesting in Divi, these items have another class. So you can see this right here. Every menu item has a separate class. Luckily, we don't need to worry about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do that. and Then we're going to add that background color. Now, what we need to do to make this work is we're going to copy this right here and let's paste it down here. And I'm just going to I'm just going to say that this is button. I'm going to say this, these are the mobile settings. Just so I know, this is just for my reference. This is the mobile setting. So what we want to do is instead of a min width, we want to do max width of 980, which is, so anything from tablet down is going to have this setting in the menu. So first thing that we want to do is we actually want to add this background color that I have in hover. We're going to go ahead and add this to the call to action. And what did I do? I did padding of zero, we're gonna make sure it's important so it knows. Okay, and we've added our green background color. So now, let's go ahead and back out. Let's refresh. Everything's looking good on desktop. And now, when we inspect element, fingers crossed, when I, oh, let's try that one more time. We're gonna inspect element. Fingers crossed when I click the down button. There we go. The button looks really good and you can kind of adjust it from here. You can add some more padding, you can adjust the height. And again, this just looks a lot better by adding the height only to the desktop version because we don't need that on the mobile. So that's it guys. Uh, it's really that simple to add a call to action button. So I'm gonna give you the code so you can make this your own, but where you might have to play around with is it with it is your theme customizer settings with the logo height or I'm sorry, the menu height. But again, just take these two classes here, depending on what logo style you have, and you should be able to adjust those to your own liking. And again, you guys have a nice way to have a sweet little call to action. You can use this for contact, you know, call us, request a quote, get started, something like that. But hopefully this helps you guys out and you have some fun making a call to action for your Divi menu. Let me know if you guys have any questions, have some fun, and I'll see you guys next time.